Good afternoon, dear students. You are talking to Dr. Chaoke, the lecturer responsible for EDS 4805, Research in Disability Studies. Dr. Chauke is the primary lecturer for the module, and I'm working hand in hand with Professor Pasha, who is the secondary lecturer of EDS 4805. Introduction of the module. Welcome to Research in Disability Studies, EDS 4805. This is one of the modules of the postgraduate diploma in inclusive education qualification in the Department of Inclusive Education. The purpose of this module is to equip you as a student with a sound understanding of the key issues relating to the conducting of research and the professional presentation of the research proposal. The module aims to provide you with the knowledge and skills required to interpret, evaluate, judge, and apply the concept and principles of appropriate scientific methods of inquiry. In other words, in this module, you are going to be doing research. And when you do research, you need to acquire the skills to interpret, to evaluate, to judge, apply, the concept and principles and techniques of appropriate scientific methods of inquiry. What are the specific outcomes of this module? The following outcomes apply in EDS 4805. Specific outcome number one, you are expected to discuss the importance of research in issues related to disability studies. Specific outcome number two, identify a researchable problem in the field of disability studies. Specific number three, review literature that is related to disability studies. Specific outcome number four, you are expected to describe and compare research methods. In the last specific outcome, which is specific number five, present a research proposal that promotes effective and efficient implementation of research. What are the study materials in this module? The module does not have a prescribed book. It does have a study guide, which you have received upon your registration. And also, the module have recommended books and the e-reserve books, meaning that whenever you do your assignment, you will be having the prescribed uh, study guide and also the recommended books, which are recommended, and the e-reserves, which are also written in the tutorial letter 101 of 2022. These are the sources that will help you to do your assignments. What is the overview of assessments? In EDS 4805 module, to complete it, you need to submit five compulsory assessment activities, comprising four assignment and a research proposal. These four assignments will contribute to 40% towards your year mark. The research proposal will contribute 60% to your final mark of the, for the module. We are continuing with the overview of the assessment. You must achieve an average of 50% to pass the module in order to achieve a distinction. You must achieve 75% or more for the year mark average of your assignment mark to qualify to obtain and access the to the examination.
you will submit the research proposal comprising the work you have done in completing your assignment thus far, assignment two to four. It is important that you complete and do well in each of the assignment provided. Now for this lecture, I am going to discuss assignment three with you as you have already submitted the two assignment. Assignment three requires you to provide a well-structured and well-considered review of literature related to your research, your research problem. In your assignment number two, you have identified a research problem. Now for this assignment three, you are going to take the problem that you have identified in your assignment two and conduct a literature review in order that to be able to address the problem that you have identified in completing your assignment number three. What is expected in this question? This question requires that you situate your research problem within the broader debates while demonstrating that your work is original and innovative. The following guidelines should help you in writing your literature review section. Let me emphasize that this question requires you to do your literature review. It also requires you to make sure that your work is original and innovative. Then we'll be looking at the guidelines that will be uh, assisting you to complete this assignment. They are the following. In the first place, you need to identify 12 to 15 sources that are relevant to the problem you identified in assignment two. These sources must have been published between 2015 to 2022. The reason for this sources to be published in 20 between 2015 and 2022 it's to help you to keep your research or it is help you to keep your literature review that you are going to interrogate in the current debates meaning that your literature review should address the issues that we are experiencing at the current situation these sources they should include scholarly articles chapters, book chapters, or policies. Avoid using textbooks. Why we should avoid using textbooks? The good literature review should come from scholarly books, should come from scholarly articles, should come from scholarly book chapters and scholarly books, not the textbooks. In number two, when you review your literature or when you review the sources, provide a description, summary, and critical evaluation. Meaning that when you review a literature or when you read sources or citations, you need to make sure that you provide a description, a summary, and a critical evaluation. What is literature review? Because we are talking about you going to conduct literature review for assignment number three. Now the question arises to say, what is literature review? A review of literature that, says, that has already been written. Secondary analysis of knowledge. What others have already discovered or written or in simple language, you can say, what is out there in the public knowledge? Consists of critical reading, evaluating and organizing existing literature on the topic to assess the state of knowledge in the area of field of study. 
Again, when you, you conduct literature, you do a selection of available documents, both published or unpublished. E.g., the theses, the dissertations that are published, that are there in the library, official documents, reports, minutes on the topic which contain information, ideas, data, and evidence written from a particular standpoint to fulfill a certain aims or experiences. We continue with what is literature review. I've already mentioned that it's a it's a it's a it's a knowledge that is already been written. And also it consists of critical reading, evaluating and organizing existing literature on the topic to assess the state of knowledge in the area of field of study. A selection of available documents, both published and unpublished. Theses, official documents, reports, minutes, etc., on the topic which contain information, ideas, data, and evidence written from a particular standpoint to fulfill certain aims and express certain views of the nature of the topic. A gay literature review, it is it is conducted on peer-reviewed uh, articles, on peer-reviewed journal articles. It may be published articles, and published articles, etc. Now that we understand what literature review is, the next slides will be talking about the purpose of literature review. Why do we need literature review? The purpose of literature review is to gather information about the subject, the topic, from many sources. To bring the reader up to date with current literature on a topic, state, or the art review. Again, literature review, it situates the existing literature in a broader scholarly and historical context. To show command of the subject area and understanding of research problem. Literature review also assists to gain methodological insight that can inform your study, meaning that whenever you want to choose the methods that you're going to use to conduct your study, this will be uh, coming from the literature review. That this will be coming from the literature review that we have, we shall have read. Literature review, again, it informs and justify the research topic research design and methodology. Again, the purpose of literature review is to identify the gaps, the contradictions in research, and justify the needs for current and future research in an area scoping review. Meaning that when you were doing your assignment two and you identify the problem, now you are going to address those gaps that you have identified in the assignment two by doing this literature review. So it will be identifying the gaps, the contradictions in research, and justify the needs for current and future research in an area scoping review. Again, the purpose of literature review is to avoid, prevent duplication of research already being done or duplication of research already undertaken. Literature review also the purpose assists to provide a rationale and motivation for your own study. Main subject, theme, topic, questions, objectives. Why do you want to conduct this study? It will also come from the literature review because you shall have read the literature review and you shall have uh, get the gaps or you will have the, the reason the motivation that sparked you to decide to conduct a research or to conduct a study. The purpose of literature review again is to justify the chosen theory, 
the data collection and analysis methodology over alternative techniques using relevant references from the literature, critically examining theories and research methods used in the literature to better understand whether the claims are warranted. To set the broad context of the study, clearly demarcating what is and what is not within the scope of the research, investigation and justifies the decisions. Meaning that literature review assists you to put your study in a particular uh, context in which your study is going to be uh, researched or in which your study is going to be investigated. Those were the purposes of literature review. When do we conduct literature review? As you are going to embark on doing your assignment three, when do you conduct literature review? In the early stages, during the development of the research proposal, to identify research gaps, refine the research uh, focus, topics and questions, and make theoretical and methodological, methodological choices. Also, literature reviews conducted in the middle stages of the, uh, of the writing, during formulation of chapters, to augment, to augment theory, findings, results and discussions. In final phase, literature review is conducted to write discussions, conclusions, recommendations, to relate findings to findings of others, to identify implications of findings to theory, practice, and research. Of course, again, to support recommendations and conclusions. These are the stages when literature review is conducted. However, in the assignment three, you are going to conduct literature review in the first stage, wherein you are going to develop your, your, your research proposal, you identify the gaps, the gaps, you refine the research focus and questions and make theoretical and methodological choices. The structure of a literature review. A literature review is guided by your topic and research questions. Depending on the purpose of your study, the literature review can be structured in a chronological way, chronologically looking at the historical aspects of the study, or it can be done in a thematically identifying the key themes of the literature. Ideationally, logical by development of ideas. Literature review also can be conducted by developing ideas. It can also be purposeful methodologically, depends on the method. Like we said, literature review guide your topic, it guide your research questions, it guide your methodology. A literature review can be based on empirical primary research. It can be based on primary research. Again, literature review can be based on theories, theoretical review, on research methods, which method to be reviewed. And also it can be on concept. What conceptual framework does this literature review require? for you to conduct your, your, your research. Requirements of literature review. A literature review must be current, up-to-date references. Previously, I mentioned that your literature review should be between 2015 and 2022 sources that you should use. This will help you to be current. This will help you to be uh, more up to date with your references. And it should also be relevant, both contextually and globally, meaning that literature review should involve sources that are 
nationally and internationally. Detailed, not scant and lacking in references. Literature review should be conducted in, in detailed. It shouldn't be scanning. It shouldn't be lacking some references. Again, it must be focused, relating directly to the study. It should be logical, properly organized and sequenced. It should also be balanced, justified, arguments, fair criticism reflective of the author's self in terms of the summaries and the arguments, meaning that when you are going to do your assignment three, your literature review should be balanced. It should be logical. It should also be reflecting on what you are saying. It should give us your voice in terms of the summaries and the arguments. Whatever that you are writing, you should be of critical importance to say, in my view, I understand this literature review while this is happening. That is what we expect you to do, to reflect on the author's self in terms of summaries and arguments, to justify your, your statements. Stages in conducting a literature review. You search for the sources, which sources, scholarly articles, scholarly book chapters, policies, official government documents, you name them. After sorting them, after searching them, you sort. Why are you sorting them? You sort them to put them in line with what you want to do. Then the next stage you read, reading takes place. As we read, we are reading and making some notes, notes of the important facts that we have identified, that which you are going to need during our writing. Then we write or writing the review. The writing starts after making all the necessary uh, literature review stages, after searching the, the, the documents, sorting them, having read them and making the, no the notes. Now, the next stage is to write or write in the review. Searching for information or searching for literature review. Start with key points or start with key ways. What is it that you're going to do? Select words from your topic. Research questions or problem research statement. Identify similar or related words, synonyms. Identify keywords terms from the research database you are searching by browsing online. Even if you obtain details from one key article author, you can use this to identify further articles by searching for one, further papers written by that same author, keywords, the author has identified in their abstract articles in the reference list, related articles listed in the publisher's database, keywords attached to the article. Develop your own research database, categorize according to keywords. Review your, your search, establish a criteria for inclusion and exclusion. Again, I will refer you to your problem that you have identified in your assignment number two. Remember that the problem that you have identified in your assignment number two, it has the keywords. Use the keywords to search your literature review for this assignment number three. Types of sources of literature. Preliminary sources. Library catalog, digital library, electronic library, individual full text, general database, official website, online repositories, bibliographies, databases, research databases, sites that broadly cover specific topics. Google Scholar, Sabinet, Sage, Science, Direct, Springlink, etc. This database will help you 
to get a good literature review. They are the database that are in the library at an institution. Primary sources, direct original reports. For an example, if you use primary sources, you'll, read, you'll use original reports. For example, journal articles, thesis and dissertations. Those are direct original uh, reports. The secondary reports or the indirect opinions that draw from, from refer to primary sources, e.g. when you write, you find that when you see so-and-so in so-and-so, you should just understand that it's not a primary source, it is a source inside another source. It is a source which was referred from the primary source. Literature review summary strategies. The summary, briefly state the arguments and main points of relevant research. When you do summaries, you, you, you make an argument and you, may, you, 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 you make an argument from the main points of the relevant research. During analysis, you closely examine the elements of structure of the research and interpret through the lens of the field. Having done your analysis, then it synthesis. You should make sure that you combine ideas in order to form an integrated theory or systems through critical evaluation, compare and contrast. Evaluation, assess the research through the criteria you choose, state and explain, support your evaluation with research. Of course, you emphasize your own interpretation. As a researcher, as a student, when you write, you should always make sure that you, 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 you emphasize your own interpretation, how you view things, how you see what other authors have mentioned, and come up with your own arguments to support the statement or to, to critique in a positive way that particular statement because you are allowed to agree and disagree with what other authors are saying, but giving the reasons for your, for, for, for your justification. In conclusion, having discussed assignment three and what is expected of you to write in this assignment based on what we have already discussed in terms of what is literature review? What are the purposes of literature, literature review? What do we need in the literature review? Then in my conclusion, student, allow me to say, a poorly conducted literature review cannot be reclaimed except by redoing it properly. Meaning that I'm advising you before you start with your assignment number three and assignment four and assignment uh, or of the research proposal. Make sure that you conduct your literature, your literature review properly. Make sure that the literature review that you conduct is going to address the question that you have uh, asked to say, this is what I'm going to do. Make sure that the literature review that you conduct is going to address the real problem that you have identified during your assignment number two, or when you were doing your assignment number two. And once that literature review is clearly uh, researched, is clearly understood, then you'll be able to conduct a good research proposal at the end of this module, which is the one that is going to be your final mark. No research can be properly conducted without a thorough in-depth literature review. This is very true. If you want to conduct a research which is thorough or which is empirically researched or which is going to address the needs of the the needs of the study, or which is going to help you to answer the problem statement, you need to make sure that you conduct a literature review in depth. Those aspects that I've discussed will assist you to get a good literature review. All our research is built on previous research done by others. 
meaning that you have to search for scholarly articles, book chapters, which are already written by other authors. And those sources or citations will help you to do your own assignment because no literature, no research is built on previous because all research is built on previous research done by others. No research can be so unique that we can say there is no related literature. This simply means whenever you're going to do your assignment number three, trying to address the problem that you have identified in your assignment number two, you need to conduct literature because there are things that have been already mentioned or written in other authors' literature review, which will assist you to be able to write your assignment number three correctly. These are the references that I selected. You are more than welcome to use recommended books. I've mentioned this before, e-reserve books and any other research methodology books that will help you understand your assignment number three, that will help you to write your assignment number three. These are just a few and there are others also in the, in the tutorial letter which you should also look at and try to uh, search them and read what literature review is and lead, read how to conduct a good literature review and be able to answer your assignment number three. Nda Kensa, Kia Thank you very much.